Good Sunday crafter af oh, goodness sakes, try this again. Good Sunday crafter noon, everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Um, I was distracted by everything that's going on outside, so if you hear a lot of background noise, please forgive me. Anyway, my name is Dawn Bridgette, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And it is Sunday Crafternoon, and we're going to do a mini class today on some really fun things. I'm really excited, you guys. So um, if you are here, make sure to say hello and where you are viewing from from the sun is actually out in Michigan you guys I'm so excited yay hi Kristen good morning good afternoon <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a shadow here so we'll see how this goes I decided to close my blinds which killed me because we rarely see the sun but it's gonna make some really crazy images if I didn't do it so anyway, welcome once again. Today is the 4th of December. We're getting really close to the holidays, you guys. It's crunch time. So with that being said, I thought I would help you out with some, I don't know, some fun things that you can do that are very quick for the holidays with your gift giving. So before we do that, I thought I'd go ahead and dive into a couple of housekeeping items First of all, make sure to like my page. If you somehow found me here, I'm glad that you're here. Go ahead and click on the like button. And also, I do have a community on Facebook as well, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet Community. Hey, Mitzi, how are you? Happy Sunday Crafternoon. So go ahead and join me over at my community as well. You're very welcome to hop on over there. And also, if you haven't done so already, please, 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm really trying hard to get the subscribers up there. Go ahead and click on that black bell as well, or click it so it does turn black. And um, that way you'll get all notifications as I do things with YouTube. So I appreciate you and thank you for doing that. And also I'm on Pinterest, so go ahead and follow me there as well. Um, I do a lot of dreaming and not so much creating sometimes. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's me. But what would we do without Pinterest, right? Um, also, just a couple things that are happening at the chalet. If you are in the uh, Ludington, Michigan area surrounding Mason County and even outside of, on December the 8th, I have my creative card class, and that is a $25 or free with an order. And then as we approach in to the next week um, is my product class and this is the very last day to sign up for that it's going to be the bows of holly i forgot to grab my cards they're in my classroom so um anyway they're super cute and it's a product class based on the bow of holly uh, dsp and then you also get an embellishment and a ribbon along with that pack of dsp as part of your class fee and i'm also offering a five dollar coupon if you place an order during class. So it's pretty awesome, right? Can't get any better than that. So make sure to sign up with me by tonight. I need to place that order ASAP so we can get it in time. With the holidays, you know, and all of that, um, I think I'll be expediting the order as it is, but just make sure to contact me if you are interested and we'll get that going. Um, I'll need to have prepayment on that as well. And also, Coffee and a Card, the Sip and Stamp, over at our local Starbucks in Ludington, Michigan, will be happening on Friday, December the 16th, between 12 noon and 2 p.m. And it will be a Christmas something or another. I'll see what I can come up with. But it will be Christmas related. So come on over and have a cup of hot cocoa and sip and stamp along with me and just come by and say hi. I would love to see you. And then as we get into the new year, I'm going to have a catalog kickoff for our new catalog. And guess what happens, you guys? Celebration. I'm so excited. So with that, um, I'm going to be having a catalog kickoff on Thursday, January the 5th at 1 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. No morning classes. I want to make sure I get everything all set up and we'll have treats and we'll be um, playing with new products. 
yay i'm looking forward to that so anyway those are things that are on the upcoming agenda here at the chalet once again just to remind you of the fitting florets collection if you're still wanting to possibly grab this um the bundle will be carried over into whoops i kind of cut that off didn't i into the new catalog coming up but if you're wanting the beautiful designer series paper and this festive um what is that called again festive framed and festive oh my gosh framed and festive so it's more uh christmas related along with these cute little spiral gold uh embellishments make sure to grab them up now uh, they're only available until January 4th or while supplies last. And you can find them at my online store. And also, wanted to point this out to you guys as well. Um, the last chance list is going on, and that is for this catalog right here. And there are some amazing deals on this. So if you haven't checked it out, I'm going to post again today the link so that you can view this particular list. Um, it's done by page order and it's easier to read. The one originally was like very small type. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my eyes aren't so good. So anyway, the, what we're going to be using today is actually marked off 40, per, the dies are marked at 40% off. Um, and it's the gingerbread house dye. So we're going to be using sweet gingerbread today, and I'll be showing that in just a minute. But anyway, there's a few pages where there are some nice markdowns uh, as you look at the right-hand side here. So if you're wanting to grab up some last-minute things that you haven't been able to yet, now is the time to do it. There's a lot of good sales. And also, if you go to my online store, you're also going to want to go check out the clearance rack. And I'm not sure, I haven't checked it today, but there was some really good stuff that they refreshed on that clearance rack last week. So uh, again, if you're wanting some great deals, make sure to check it out, some great stuff. And I do have my December host code all set up. And let's see, I think that's... Uh, I think that's about everything. Should we get stamping? I'm so excited. Okay, first of all, today, what we're going to be using, and like I said, the um, you won't want to purchase the bundle. You'll actually want to purchase the gingerbread, the sweet gingerbread stamp set and the dies separately because these dies are 40% off. So if you were to purchase them separate, as far as on that last chance list, You'll get the bundle for $37 when it was originally $45.75. So that's a really good deal. But we're going to be using just the stamp set today because I want to do something that's super duper easy that you can duplicate and whip up fast. And then also, I use color and contour. And you're like, well, that's not Christmassy. But what I did use were the dies. And it's the second from the largest that I used. So if you're looking to see where these are at, it's the color and contour bundle. And the dies are called scallop contour dies. Now, something that I'm really happy about that Stampin' Up! is doing, and they're making this change in the new catalog, they're naming their dies the exact same as the stamp set, which, hallelujah, um, <laughs> That's going to make life so much easier, right? And then the other thing that I decided to dig out of my stash is this. Now, I believe that this is carrying over into 2023. And I'm not using the stamp set, but what I'm going to use are these amazing dies. Let me show you guys a little something here. So these dies make tags. And of course, then we have the holidays here as far as a balloon, hearts, candles, um, a mitten. Here's the other part of the candles. And then there is also this big die right here. And I'm going to show you what you can do with that. But also check out, it does have the little banner, which is really cute. And also for your sentiments that come in this stamped set, 
will fit either in here or this die, the circle die, and then you have this cute snowflake and this texture die right here. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. I did cut them in advance, so you won't have to see me sitting there cutting them out with the stamp and cut emboss machine, but I'm gonna show you how to use these today. And I just think it was super cute and super fun and easy. This is something you guys could do very quickly as far as with your gift giving. So let's go ahead and get started on a couple of things. The other thing that I wanted to use were these. Now, I forgot, I forgot I had these, you guys, but these are so cute. They're cute little gift bags and they come in white and they are already kind of like a texturized embossed. There's lines in it. I love texture. And these are found in our annual catalog. It's item 159251. And we're gonna decorate one of these up today. It doesn't, it's it's a smaller type bag. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Good afternoon, good crafternoon. Um, but I just wanted to be able to decorate something up really quick that you could fit a little something to your BFF in or, I don't know, give it to your significant other and tell them that a diamond necklace would fit in there quite nicely. I, you know, just get creative. So <laughs> let me show you guys what we're going to make today. So there is, yeah, that sun is coming in. Like I said, I can't complain. It's Michigan and, you know, especially along the lake. I am like located right here at my pinky knuckle. And there's a lot of lake effect that we get this time of the year. So when the sun comes out, <laughs> it's like run out, hurry up and look at it and absorb it, right? I need my little solar panel on my head to work. Anyway, these are the items that we're going to make today. And actually there's a fourth which is this cute little tag here. So like I said, we're gonna utilize those dies today. But isn't this cute? So like I said, it's not a, a huge gift bag. To give you perspective, here's a stamp set, if you guys are familiar with that. And it's about uh, the same size. It covers the front of a stamp set. And they're not too wide, but they're cute enough to put some little treats in there. Uh, that kind of thing, or some embellishments or things that you want to give to your BFF, that kind of thing. Yes, vitamin D for sure, Kathy. You got it. I need all, all I can get. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll get started on these things. I'm just not sure. What do I want to start on first? Let's start on the bag. We'll do that first. Let's do that. All right. So we're going to keep the bag here, and I'm going to grab just a couple things. Um, so like I said, this die right here was cut with basic white and it's from the color and contour bundle. I really, this is the perfect size for on a card and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be kind of doing the same basic thing, but just on different projects. Just so you guys get a feel for what else we have that you can do this time of the year. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. I have a D size and an A size acrylic block. This cute little heart is part of that stamp set. We're gonna be using that a bit because I really like it, it's super cute. And oh, also we're going to be using this right here. Um, I've been a little perplexed on how to use it on cards because it is so wide. And of course, you can cut it in half and all that. But I don't know about you guys, but my cutting ability to cut ribbon in half and make it look really pretty uh, doesn't do so well. But this, I believe, is in the annual catalog. It is called, exactly what is it called? It is Natural Finish Ribbon, and it is item number 159051 just in case you want to grab it. It's it's great because it's a neutral color, right? <laughs> it goes with everything. And if you do want to color it, you could always do so with your Stampin' Blends if you'd like, as far as the darker colors go on that natural or neutral color. Um, but it's great for packaging. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use this. It's been sitting and not being loved, and I wanted to use it. So we're going to use that today as well. So first of all, let's grab our sentiment. And I thought it'd be easier to position the little gingerbread house after 
I stamp the sentiment on there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. By the way, this is a photopolymer stamp set. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my D block and we're going to use real red ink. Oops, I almost got my thumb in that. <laughs> that would have been a little bit messy, wouldn't it? And I'm gonna go ahead and position that towards the bottom, middle-ish, and call it good. There we are, all right. And then I'm gonna leave that out because we're gonna need a heart in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead, clean that off. You know the drill, otherwise I get messy and things are all over the place. And then the next thing we're gonna do is grab this cute little house. And we're gonna put that. Ooh, my block is a little dirty. That's crazy. And we're going to use crumb cake. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my piercing mat because I'm just afraid that we won't get a really good impression on that without it. I always try to remember to use my piercing mat. Whoops, I'm bouncing the table. Um, when I'm using photopolymer stamps, ink it up really good. And hopefully my head is not in your view. <laughs> Last thing you wanna see is my scalp. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and ta-da! There's that cute little gingerbread. And then the next thing we're going to do is attach that cute roof on it. So we're gonna get that stamp out, which is this one right here. And I might as well just go ahead and get the windows because I want the windows and, and the tree. We're going to use that as well. And I think, I think I got everything, okay. So we're going to go ahead and attach the roof and we're going to use soft suede for the roof. Give it some cute little shingles. So I want to hear what you guys did this weekend. What did you do? I'll, I'll tell you what I did, but I want to hear from you first. What did you guys do this weekend? And I'm going to try to see if I can view comments in a timely manner here. There we go. Hi, Lee. I didn't see you pop on. Good to see you all. Thank you for joining me today. It's always more fun when I have others to share this with, you know. And then these are little tiny windows. They're attached, so they'll be perfectly spaced which I love. I don't have to worry about stamping it twice, just once. So we're going to take, whoops, by the way, this is Pool Party. I'm going to go ahead and give it some windows in Pool Party. There we are. Well, it's a little off, but hey, so am I. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I always say, you know what? It's handmade, so... It, it's not going to be perfect, right? And then, oh, you know what? I should have, let me see. I'm gonna take this off. We're going to give our little house a couple of trees and I am gonna put this aside for now. I just, I don't know, I'm not trusting myself. This garden green right here for our trees. And we're gonna stamp one right there. And we're gonna stamp one right there. Looks good. We're getting there. And then of course, we're gonna put our heart back on. Close this up. Get my real red back out. And it needs a little heart. Make it kind of cute. And there we go. Easy peasy, right? It's just basically we're just using ink and stamps. And well, okay, I lie. 
I have to have a little bit of bling, you guys. And I actually thought I had our red rhinestones, but apparently I'm out. I know I have some coming. I love our red rhinestones, and they're also in the annual catalog. But uh, these will have to do until I get my red back. So I thought that was kind of cute. Just a little extra bling, right? Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and get a bag. So here's the bag. And I'm going to just attach it with dimensionals. I'm not seeing what you guys have been up to, so I don't know if I'm not seeing your comments or <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kathy. So, yeah, so I'll share what I did. So it was actually a little surprise trip um, that the mister put together, and I didn't know where it was that we were going until we were about halfway there. And I went to a town in southeast Michigan, which is about mm, three or so hours-ish from where I'm located. It's, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it, down near Detroit, because that's what people vision that aren't from Michigan. By the way, I'm making a big, big, big bow, and I'm using my helpful bow maker. Um, anyway, so we went that direction first. And we went to a festival that is called the Kris Kringle Festival. And um, that was a lot of fun. It was really cool, something I've never done before. And in Rochester, Michigan, if you guys didn't see it, um, I did post those photos. And um, what they do in their downtown area is absolutely amazing. They cover all the storefronts for blocks like blocks <laughs> in lights. I mean, it's it's amazing. I've not seen anything quite like that before. It was so cool. And I've been wanting to do that for years. So we went there that night and I ended up finding, do you guys remember, I'm sure you're, like my grandma had a, whoops, I'm using glue dots by the way. My grandmother had this really cool ceramic tree and you plug it in, you know, and it lights up. You guys, you guys know what I mean, right? Um, those old ceramic trees that they had and had the star on top. Well, when we moved to this little house and I was getting the tree out because we haven't had a Christmas tree. Uh, we didn't have one last year. So I wanted to use this tree that I got out that was my grandmother's. And, um, well, part of it broke, which really bummed me out. So one of the things that we seen in one of the booths, so they had like an outdoor craft uh, show, and there was also food, <laughs> which how can you go wrong with food, right? And I bought a new tree. But this one's really cool. I have to show you guys or take pictures of it. It's not like the traditional one. It's flat. So it's, it's like you could fit it in other places. It's the coolest thing. So anyway, there we go. Project number one. What do you guys think of that? My bow's a little wonky on this one, but but yeah, quick and easy bag, right? Now, let's go ahead and do the card. So anyway, so that was one of the things that I got there. And then also, um, I'm part Polish, and I have been craving, my grandmother used to make um, pierogies. And there was a couple there that were from Poland and they made genuine pierogies. I was so excited. So I had to get a couple packages of those and a package of crepes. <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness, I, I did really well. <laughs> I helped the economy in Rochester, Michigan, but it was so cool and I would definitely go back again. If you've never been there and if you're anywhere near a drive to get to Rochester, Michigan, check it out. But I have to say, oh my gosh, you have to have your patience pants on because it was crazy, absolutely crazy. So after we left there, we drove that night even further and we ended up in uh, Frankenmuth 
Michigan. And if you're not familiar with Frankenmuth, that is where the largest Christmas store is in the world. At least that's what they claim. And it's pretty huge. And um, I've never been there on a Saturday. And I have to say, I probably... <laughs> well, from now on, go there on a weekday like we always used to do. It was crazy. Some of the people were not very nice. Um, it was just, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. Okay, so what I did here, this is a piece of, I got to yep and I forgot to tell you, a four and a, four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock. I scored it at five and a half using Real Red ink with my little heart stamp, just to give it a little extra something, because I felt like it was naked without that in the background. And again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the bag with our cute little gingerbread house. So anyway, when we were there, um, I started looking at Christmas trees. And like I said, we haven't had, because my Christmas tree is in storage, and it has been since we moved to this little tiny house. And um, I've been missing having a tree. I'm, I'm a person that just, I love Christmas, but it's been kind of a downer because just stuff, you know, not having a tree, yada, yada, yada. And I love decorating at Christmas. And I usually start decorating for Christmas right after Halloween. I usually have my tree up Halloween or earlier sometimes, actually. And I just didn't have a tree. And where we're at, we have a very, very small space. So, anywho, <laughs> long story short is we did find a tree. It's like four foot. It's just a little bit shorter than me. I know. I say that jokingly because it's a four foot tree and I'm four foot eleven. But anyway, so it'll be a tree that's easy to decorate. So that's what I'm going to do next after I'm done here with you guys. I'm going to decorate my tree. And I'm very excited. <laughs> I have a tree to decorate. Yay. And even if it's little, it's all good. It's better than no tree. That just was kind of sad last year, no tree. Okay, once again, I'm just repeating what I did on my bag. And speaking of bows, I found some really cute ribbon that's red with white snowflakes. And it's really, it's thick and it's got the wire in it, you know? So I asked one of the gals at Briner's to make bows because they'll do that for you if you request it. So I got some pretty bows made. So that's going to be my tree topper is a big red bow with snowflakes on it. It's super cute. So I'm super excited to put it together. And most of my ornaments are Santas because my mom collected Santas. And even if I'm not gonna get all of her collection out because it's only a four foot tree, I'm still going to do a tree like my mom used to do. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So it was a good weekend, very good weekend. Put on a lot of miles in a very short time. Um, Left on Friday and got home last night and did all of that. So, good stuff. Okay, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put the heart on first this time, and then we'll do the windows and the trees. Isn't this a cute set, you guys? And you know, I hate to admit it, but I'm going to, is that I have not had the opportunity to play with this set until now. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Trees and garden green. Whoops, I gotta clean this off too. So we need trees and winders. We'll go ahead and do the windows first. Again, pool party. I'm sticking with the four colors that I started with on, whoops, ooh, that didn't turn out so well. I should actually have a smaller block for this, but I'm too lazy to get it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's perfect. I love it when things work out well. So 
So how many of you who are watching, and even if you're viewing later, you can answer because I like to check and see the comments even after. How many of you guys have more than one tree that you decorate in your home? I'm kind of curious because I was told I was crazy that I want more than one tree. Well, someday when I get my house, <laughs> my house house, um, I would love to have several trees throughout my house decorated. I think that would be fun. Okay, there we go. So we have copied basically what we did on the bag, and we're going to put it onto our card base. Sweet! Oh, I know, I need to get an envelope. because we need to decorate that too. We don't want a naked envelope. Sometimes I forget to do that while I'm on here with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy to the front of my card with dimensionals. I seen someone at on stage, which is a Stampin' Up! event. I'm gonna try this, let's see if we can Nope, she did it and it was so quick. She took her her picket tool, although that did work, and she's like poke, 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 and she collected all the backings of the um, dimensionals, and I thought, well, isn't that brilliant as I struggle with my fake nails to peel them off all the time. Oh, isn't that cute? I love it. So cute, so cute. So if you need a card to go with your gift bag. You have one right here. Whoops, let's see here. Um, red ink. We're just going to put hearts all over this. Actually, you know what I should do? Grab a piece of... There we are. Scrap paper. Sometimes I forget, and then I'm stamping, and it gets ink on here and then I put a white piece on that later. Have you guys ever done that? And it's like, uh oh. <laughs> and then it gets all over your card and you didn't mean to get ink on it and it just came off from, yeah. Yeah. And then I think on the back of this one, I'm just gonna put one little heart right there. Cute. Okay. So that is project number two. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that cute? So we have the bag and a card and they match. And then let's see, we have, um, and notice I didn't put that really thick ribbon on that card. I, I just, I didn't think it was gonna work out. Let's do this next. So this is a really cool die that's in that set that I was just showing you a couple of minutes ago. And it is this guy right here, and it looks a little funny. This is really clever though. Let me show you guys. So, um, <laughs> if I can get this untied. Oh, is it coming loose? There we go. So basically, this will fit a gift card perfectly inside. It is so cool. And it may not look like it, but it does perfectly inside. Love it. So with that, we're going to go ahead and assemble one of these little guys. Because let's say you put something in your gift bag and then you want to coordinate with a gift card that you give them that kind of thing. Or you just want to give somebody a gift card and putting a little bow on it just, I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Although this now looks a little wonky, but you know, you get the drift. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you're gonna need your bone folder for this. Um, it does, when you cut, give you score lines. If you guys can see that, I know it's a little hard on this white cardstock, but go ahead and there's where you fold it in half. 
Then you have these little wings here and you're going to want to fold those inward. And again, you're going to want to use your bone folder to make sure you get those edges crisp and get that so it'll lay a little flatter for you when you put it together. So that's what I'm going to do on that for now. And then what I'm going to do, this is going to be the back. So this is going to be the, the front. And we are going to do a little bit of stamping again on it. Whoops. And let's see. Stamp set. Wash and repeat, right? So once again. You're probably like, Dawn, why didn't you just do all your stamping at once? You know what? That's a really good question. Now on these, what I did for the sentiment is I made sure I put it all the way to the bottom. Um, there's not as much room or real estate to play, so to speak, with what I wanted to do. So I made sure I put this all the way to the crease because I wanted room for my cute little gingerbread. And we're going to need our crumb cake once again. Now this one does not have room. Whoops, sorry, I'm shaking the table again. Um, does not have room really for our foliage, but that's okay. It's still stinking cute. Ta-da! Love it adorable then again we need our roof and let's see here we go there we are and again soft suede for our rooftop whoops just a little more ink on that and there we go Oh, so cute. And once again, our windows with pool party. Grab that. I don't know about you guys. How many of you give out a lot of gift cards? Whoops. Oh, shoot. Oh, I just messed that up. You didn't see that. Oops. Oh, that's not so good. Okay, just ignore the windows. It's okay. You guys will get the drift. <laughs> this may not make it to somebody, though. It's a little bit messed up. You know what? It's all good. Um, how many of you guys give out gift cards for the holidays? I know I do a lot just because it seems like that way they can just pick out what they want, right? Makes things a little easier. And I don't feel like I'm wasting my money because that way, again, they get to choose what they want for Christmas. It's a safer bet. Okay, even though I messed it up, <laughs> we're going to put a bling on it anyway. Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut out windows or something and hide my boo-boo. There's always a way, right, when we stamp to hide a mistake. It's okay to make a mistake. All right, so I wanted to show you how to put this together. Super easy peasy. We're gonna go ahead and take some of our multi-purpose liquid glue and very carefully, without doing a Dawn thing and getting glue all over everything, um, a very, whoa, see already I'm making a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Don't want the goober. So a very, very, thin line of glue because you don't want that seeping into the area where your gift card would go, right? Because otherwise your gift card won't fit and then that would be a very sad thing. So with that, there we are. So I would suggest holding it for just um, a minute or two until that glue does set so it gives it a chance to seal. And then from there, you can add your bow. But 
ta-da and there you go there is a gift card holder in fact you know what i thought i had oh i think i do let's try a different color on this we're gonna play this is a new ribbon that is going to be in our mini catalog coming up and we're gonna make a smaller bow um and i was like you know what yeah i do have pool party even though my windows are wonky like i said i might try to figure it out to uh salvage <laughs> this a little bit and get my scissors i just love my bow maker gosh whoops all right there we go pretty bow and i think that that would also look super cute if you just wanted to go ahead and put a glue down on it before the holes and then that way the bow can stay i'll show you so the bow can stay on you don't have to untie the bow so it keeps it cute whoops need to get a glue down on there well there we go And then that way, the bow stays on. You can still slip your gift card right inside there. How cool is that? Ta-da! So that is the one die um, that is in with the Create, Create Tag, Create, oh my goodness, what is this again? Celebrate. I keep wanting to say Create. Celebrate with tags. Um, it's a really cool set, and the dies are just as much fun. So again, this is a very, very quick way. You can send me a gift card, <laughs> even if it's wonky, Kathy. You wait, girl. You send me your address. I'll send you the wonky card, okay? <laughs> and I might even fill it with something. You never know. Because I don't think I have your address. Okay, last one, last thing that we're on here is the other tag die. Again, you guys, super duper duper easy, right? So I just ran this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and it cuts out this cute little uh, like stitching and the scallop edge and a fold in the middle. And it has a score right there for you to score it, just like so. And once again, same routine, wash and repeat. We're gonna go ahead, but this time, I don't have room for the sentiment on the front. So I thought I would put that on the inside of the flap. So once again, our crumb cake. <laughs> Kathy, you crack me up, girl. Well, send me your address and we're going to go ahead and stamp that like so. Again, the real estate, as far as an area to stamp, isn't too big, but I'm still going to work with it. It's so funny because when I first seen this set and then I ended up getting it, I just was like, oh, I don't know. It's okay. And then when I started to play with it, I'm like, how come I haven't played with this set sooner? Have you guys ever done that? Whoops, I need soft suede again for my cute little rough top. Gotta have a rough, right? And I love photopolymer stamps with the fact that they are, for the most part, see-through. So you can do these layering types of things with your stamps. Makes it easy peasy. Okay, windows. I just had my windows. Did I lose my windows? Oh no, oh there they are. There they are. So windows, pool party, once again. This is a color 
I have loved since the day they brought it to us. Okay, and we're going to try to position these. Hold our breath. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, I cracked myself up. And then, of course, the heart. Got to have the cute little heart. Uh, real red. Just like that. So cute, right? The other thing I like about these tags that come in that uh, die set is they do already have the whole position for you as well. So if you do like to do um, a string of them, that would be cute too, wouldn't it? Do like a little banner with these would be great. Um, oh, Kathy is asking, how's my assistant? <laughs> my furry little assistant. She's doing pretty good. She actually went to the babysitter um, while I was gone. And um, my sister-in-law has a couple of really big dogs, like a bull mastiff. And, you know, she's a four-month-old Cocker Spaniel puppy. Whoops, I didn't, that was loose. Uh, so it was interesting. She came home with a new habit of learning how to jump on the furniture now that she's getting a little older. I was like, grr. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to use more of that pool party ribbon again. But anywho, she's doing good. She's growing very fast, faster than I'd like her to. But she's still, she's quite the cuddler, which I like. And she actually likes me. <laughs> Usually I'm like chopped liver in the household. So I don't know. Kind of dig the fact that she kind of likes me. All right. So this pool party is really pretty on that other tag so let's see here there we are cut our tails and glue dots so basically this is what i had for you guys today but i was just kind of excited that you know i love to make all the things that coordinate together with packaging and gift giving and I just thought, you know, let's grab this stuff and play a little bit. Now, isn't that the cutest tag? And then on the inside, we can take our sentiment. Let's see here. Let's actually, let's do a different sentiment here. There's one that says, from our house to yours. And let's do that. I'm going to put that on the inside with our real red ink. There we go. So cute. And I think I'm even gonna do this. I'm gonna add a little heart. There we go. Adorbs. All right. So I'm gonna grab my other stuff here. So we have our, our bags. Oh, and by the way, I attached this one. I forgot to grab this one. So this was the original. Oh, and I gotta add bling. Can't forget the bling, right? Gotta have bling. That's like my signature, bling. <laughs> there we are. Okay. And I was attaching this. I just found these little clothes pins in my stash that I forgot that I had. So you could add them to your bag if you wanted to on the back side. Kind of cute, right? So there are the gift tags, the bag, and here are the cards. And then we also have the gift card holders. So all kinds of fun stuff for you guys today. Um, so yeah, I hope that uh, that's inspired you a little bit and shown that it doesn't have to be 
complicated to make something super cute and super easy to get those gifts ready for the holidays. So, hey, I want to thank you guys so much for popping on here and spending a little bit of time with me today. You guys make my week. You really do. So thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead. This will be saved onto the, oh, thanks for the hearts. Love you guys. Um, I'm going to make sure that this, of course, stays on the page. And uh, if you want to see some close-up pictures of the projects, make sure to go to my blog in about a half hour. It'll be all set for you. And there'll be pictures, close-up pictures of the projects and all the items that I used that you can shop at my online store if you like. I'd appreciate that. And um, also on YouTube. I'll be loading this to YouTube as well. So thank you so much, you guys. You're awesome. Have a great week. And I will see you next Sunday for a Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.